music is. Yeah. So I wake up to this mess here. Another oil leak. I knew my reservoir power steering was leaking, but not this bad. So I'm up at Buddy's house and we're going to find the source and see if we can't seal it somehow. So we have. Well, let's see if I can get a light on it. So that back in there, we just cleaned it with brake fluid and nice and dry, and it's already hoist again. So a crack or something up in that uh, reservoir is someplace we can't get to. So what we're going to do is drain this best we can, dry this best we can, and then just use our finger with some sealant and stick it in the hole. <laughs> see, if, see if it'll hold up for a while. Well, I guess some new fluid out of the deal anyway. Yeah. My buddy's got different power steering fluids, but I like this one. It's called a stop leak. That'll make me feel better anyway. So the reason we're patching this up is because they are not available. Just for grins, I did call the local Napa. They don't even list them. So he said, yeah, pick and pull or got to go to Rock Auto or something. Well, I'm not going to wait a couple days, so we're just going to patch it up. That's the reason we're not just going to replace it. Right in the front yard. That's kind of cool. All right, the repairs. The repair is in place. We just gooped it up best we could in there, and it's been about 30 minutes. Don't see any leaks, so we're going to go down the road. I might as well start series part five with the leak, right? We patched up that reservoir best we could, and uh, I'm on the road. We left Denver just a few minutes ago. I'm just going to drive home from here on out, I-70. Uh, if I drove straight through with no stops, it says 19 hours and 20 minutes. Obviously, it's going to take me a couple days, but I don't think there'll be much else to look at. So this will be the last of the series. Appreciate you all hanging there with me, my loyal subscribers and friends. If you're new to the channel, this probably won't be too interesting to you, but uh, who knows, maybe you like it. But all right, let's get back on the road and talk to you later. The reservoir patch job is holding up. I've been driving for about five hours since leaving my buddy's house at 12.30 Mountain Time. It's now 7.17 Central Time. I'm approaching Salina, Kansas. Well, I'll start looking for a place to stop. It'll be about 8 o'clock by then. It's real hot and real windy outside, so we'll see if uh, I can find a place to stop. And it's always hard in town, so I may have to get a hotel. But probably be the last night on the road. I'm 14 hours and 50 minutes of driving time from home, so I could be there tomorrow night, but we'll see. I may stop somewhere so I can get there early Sunday and then have time to unpack this rig. I ordered the part. The reservoir should be there probably Monday or Tuesday, so I can get that prepared uh, for the part and get that fixed. Puddle smaller at least, so I'll top out, top off the reservoir, and let's get on the road. I got a late start today. I slept in. It's nine o'clock. Hey everybody, I've only been driving for about seven hours. I didn't leave till nine this morning. It's 4:30, uh, almost 4:30. No approach to St. Louis. And uh, once I get past that big city, I'm going to start looking for a place to stop for the night. And uh, I'll be home tomorrow. So I could make it home tonight, but it wouldn't be till late. That's another, I still got seven and a half hours. So my wife told me she's in bed at 8.45. Don't bug her. So I won't do that. I'll just get there tomorrow.
well that's a bummer. I just get into Tennessee, stop at the Welcome Center. It is nine o'clock. Uh, I was just gonna cook some dinner. Can't do it. Can't even pull a table out and put the camp or the camp stove out. And he said, not only that, but you can't back in the slots. You gotta pull in straight. I've never heard of such a thing. He's real nice about it. He apologized. That's the rules. Moving on. I wanted to take some time to say thank you for following along on my adventures. I enjoyed making the videos and sharing some beautiful areas of the U.S. I learned some lessons about myself, traveling in a small space, and having options. While this is the last of my travel videos, I have a lot of great memories. I have a lot of work to do at home, and we'll unload the Jeep, inspect everything, clean it, and catch up with some honey-do lists my wife has been saving up on. If I did this again, I would make some changes. But for this trip, I can say the Jeep performed pretty well. Besides the oil pan gasket leak, which was my fault, I only had the power steering reservoir leak to deal with, and I made it home okay. I drove 6,967 miles, I saw a lot of beautiful places, caught up with family and friends, and even met a few people from YouTube. It was a great experience overall, and I'm so glad that many of you came along. Judy, <laughs> hi! Get out. <laughs> Timmy fell in the well? Huh? <laughs> Timmy fell in the well? <laughs> <laughs> oh, all is well now. <laughs> huh?